huge number of benefits. So it really depends what source concerns the, the grower has. If he has compaction issues, cover crops can address that. If he wants to add or she wants to add nitrogen, nutrient cycling, increase nutrient cycling, increase soil health, you can add carbon to the soil. Cover crops will increase water infiltration into the soil. And as you build up your soil organic matter, they'll also increase water holding capacity. They can be used to suppress weeds. Depending on what cover crops you choose, you could also suppress nematodes. And so the benefits are just enormous. This is our insectary trial. And the way we've designed this experiment, we've found after speaking with producers that there are several issues that make them reluctant to use cover crops. Uh, one of the issues is the cost and the other is how do you manage it and we're incorporating those with more low-cost cover crop species that are also good pollinator plants such as the radish and the mustard and flax and we're coming up with low-cost mixes and we ha are testing an almond mix, a walnut mix, and a vineyard mix. So this is um, this is a fava bean a legume, and um, they have a symbiotic relationship with rhizobia bacteria in in the soil or in inoculant that you put on the seed, and um, they form nodules on their roots that will um, show that they're fixing nitrogen. And if you cut them open, they're a little red or pink inside um, that shows that they're fixing nitrogen from the atmosphere and adding uh, nitrogen to your system. This is our adaptation trial. It's the second year of doing this trial. It's a national trial that we're doing at 23 PMCs across the country. And um, we are looking at the adaptation and growth characteristics of 59 different cultivars. Um, see how they grow in this region and um, see how they perform. All of these uh, plots were planted at the same time. There are some species that are already in full bloom and heading out and blooming. And um, there are some that are like a, you know, a foot tall. And they're all the different cultivars under the same species. So um, really interesting to see that these might be benefit beneficial in different systems. I wanted to show uh, the above ground and below ground um, biomass and what's going on, um, the benefits of the cover crop. So above ground you see this tall cereal rye, great weed suppression with all these fibrous roots below that are great for holding onto soil, preventing erosion, helping break up compaction. But it's also um, these little fibrous roots go uh, pretty far down, all the way down to the bottom of the pit. and. Um, they're also mining nitrogen, so keeping you from losing um, nitrates in your soil. So 